And so, the superintendents of the Nigerian um, misfortune have continued to keep people in poverty. For how many weeks? For the past nine weeks, universities have been closed, right? This is the third month, right? Universities have been closed. And life is going on normal. I mean, to keep young people who are 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, to keep them at home doing nothing for two, three, four months, you don't know that you are calling for tragedy. Mm -hmm. I'm that anybody is going around talking about leadership without this being on the front burner. And that we can sit down and let this go on endlessly. It just shows that we have a bunch of idiotic people running the country. Because what you have set in front of you is tragedy. There are people who are experts who have brought out videos and said, keep young people busy. If you do not keep young people busy, you are calling for criminality. An idle mind is the devil's abode. How can we, how can we keep our public schools closed for one month, for two months, for three months? And I'm talking of millions and billions of young people. Closed. They are doing nothing. We have not engaged them at home. There's no online learning organized. And we think that there will be a country to run for 2023. We have a bunch of jokers that are running around. And we need to challenge them. If you know anybody who is looking for governor, who is looking for senator, who is looking for president, help me tell him, president of where? President of where? This country that is collapsing now, the minimum we can do is all of us call on our leaders to make sure that the schools are open tomorrow. Call on our leaders to say, this is a tragedy waiting to happen. And it is already beginning to happen. See crime everywhere. We can afford to keep our schools closed. What kind of human beings do we have leading our affairs? Chidiberi. What kind? And is it, is it really that we, can, we are helpless, completely helpless? Can't we all call those we know, send letters to those we know, bombard them with calls, with letters, to say this does not make sense? Make them uncomfortable. Make the president uncomfortable. Make the governors uncomfortable. Make everyone, ministers, uncomfortable. How can the minister of education have a sleep through the night when all the schools that he is superintending are closed? He just apologized to. He just apologized. I don't believe. And that is why I had said it here repeatedly. As long as we, the Nigerian people, can entertain somebody to be our minister of health who takes treatment outside the country, the health institutions will not be improved. As long as we can have somebody who is minister of education, whose children are schooling outside, then we, there will be no improvement in our circumstance. And somebody attempted to raise this in parliament and they shut him down. And I thought that that was the best bill that was ever proposed in the Nigerian parliament. And if we are waiting for them to be the one to bring out such a bill and to endorse it, it will not happen. From where should it arise? From the people, we who are victims of their political misadventure, we are the ones to work on it. We are the ones to compel them to make such a law. Because there's something called enlightened self-interest. If I have my son in University of Abuja, I have my child in the uh, University of uh, uh, where? The, the, the Federal University, Lokoja then I will do whatever it takes to make sure that schools are not closed. Because I don't want to have my child in February at home, in April at home, when he's supposed to be studying. Let's take this up. Let NGOs take this up. Let people of, 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 uh, of vision, people who have con con concern for the common good, passion for the common good, let's take this up. And for once, let's begin to run a country the way a country is supposed to be. Otherwise, what do we do with over 200 million people? If this country completely fails, West Africa will not be able to accommodate us. We need to get, begin to do something. 